Hello world and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I'm your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life, then you my friend are in the right place. I'm so excited about this episode because in this video we are speaking about personal development and spiritual development. And the topic of this video is just let it flow. Let's get straight into the video. So last week I missed the video, oh my gosh, I had a lot going on in my life, I've been traveling, I thought I had my memory card where I basically filmed like three videos in batch and I did not have it with me and plus it was my birthday, I was on vacation, didn't have, it was just all type of crazy stuff. So everything happens for a reason and let's look at the positive side. We are here. Guess what? If you're not a family member of Mecca Mastery TV yet, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go right ahead while you at it and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. And if you have been a family member for a while, hello, how are you? How you been? So look, this video today, guys, is basically like a message that is on my heart, but really from the universe. Because I personally just as many people have been in this transformative state right this this transformation since covid 19 right rona okay and even though we have become you know accustomed to the way of life so far with everything going around around you know rona 19 i can't really say the word because they like to shut those videos down when you mention full you get what I'm saying, so I'm not trying to get my video missing from out here. So, but we all have been like kind of got accustomed to it, but I know I'm not the only one that has had new desires about who they are as an individual arise to surface, and that's what this video is mainly about. So, the title of this video is Just Let It Flow, right? Just Let It Flow. I have noticed that before 19, Rona 19, I was so conditional with so many things in my life, right? Conditional with love and relationships, conditional with things, and I lived life from an external point of view in many ways. And I did not want to admit this to myself, as many people don't want to admit it to themselves. But since this has happened, it made life slow down. It made you look at yourself. It made you turn within who you really are as an individual and start to put that pause, hit that pause button and say, you know what, what is it that I really want? What is life really for me? What does it mean for me, the, the true meaning of life? What really gives me juice and flow? And so many people, is that's different for many people, but the foundations are the same. Love, happiness, harmony, peace, tranquility. Now there's many avenues to get to that one desire of love and harmony and peace and happiness many different avenues and this is the reason why most people don't get to those the, that 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 destination they want to get to to love happiness peace and flow because they don't allow it to flow when you are so conditioned when you're so caught up and you're so fixated on your life unfolding in one way of course you're not going to be happy or you're not going to feel good or you're not going to get to that space of love peace and harmony when things is looking a different way so lately in my life i've been noticing that things have been changing as as i've been in this transformative state as i've been in this transformation things has been changing and i've been getting the desires that i've been asking for like the desires things that i've that that i've been wanting has been manifested but it's no it's not have been manifesting in the ways that i have felt or the picture that i've had in my mind so at first be, my ego ego stepping in at first i was about to let my ego step in and say well these conditions are at play but i'm getting the result why is it that we pay so much more attention to the conditions of things rather than the result right and it's not just about the result 
Some people, for example, say they want love, they want relationships. So you'll get a loving partner, you'll get in a relationship, and you'll have this picture in your mind about how things should play out, who should it be, how they should look, where you should live, how y'all should evolve as a, as a couple. But those are all conditions, and you just focus on the result. But what about the journey? That is the most beautiful part about life. And that's what the main, this main video is about. That's the main thing and the foundation of this video. It is about the journey. Slow down. Slow down. What's the rush? You can never get it wrong. There's no such things as getting it wrong or right. It's everything's an experience on this planet. And it's been very, very challenging for me to show up. For example, how I usually show up as a coach and always have a lot to say and doing this and doing that. Because I've been so present with life just in the flow. You know, nothing is what it is to me anymore. Things are just what they are, with no label. It just is what it is. It's an experience. As long as it, as it feel good, it's giving me joy and juice and bliss. And yes, we're going to experience things that we don't want. Unpleasant situations are going to arise in our life. But that is contrast. And in that contrast and in that unpleasantness, in those situations and those experiences that you have that are not pleasing to you, it births new desires. It births what is pleasing to you it highlights what is it that you don't want what doesn't align with who you truly are and then it says look this what this is what I really like this is what aligns with me this is the path that I need to take or this is the choice that I need to make or this is the the vibration that I need to t tune to when I wake up every day so this video was really about just to give you a reminder a reminder of, to slow down to let it flow that life is about experiences it's not about the conditions lose that picture in your mind about how things should be if you die tomorrow can you say can you truly say that you enjoyed your journey up until this point not being so fixed on oh no this is not this way this is not that way this is not this way this is not that way get off of social media okay get off of get get out of those blogs stop allowing people to be all in your mind about what things should be like you know the truth you know the truth you know the truth about what you want for your life if it provides flow harmony peace tranquility love bliss good energy it's for you like right now the sun is shining on my face I hear birds chirping and cars going past and human beings and people that I don't even know that's just feeding me love and light and people that's in my life that I do know that is loving like that in itself you see it has tears in my eyes I feel so good like life can't get any more better than that. I have food I'm healthy I'm thriving I get to do things that I love every day I have movement like it don't get no better than that y'all stop loot stop, don't get lost in the matrix this false reality of life let things flow and as you transition, allow your transition to happen. It will be a little uncomfortable because you're going to be breaking away chains that no longer serve you. So things that had you bound for so long is going to be releasing from you. Allow it to be. You're going to become more calmer, more in tune, more in peace, more aligned with who you are. And it's going to be like, who is this person? Let it be. Let it be. It's okay. It's okay. And with that being said, I hope you love this video and you share this with somebody that you care about. Because we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV that sharing is caring. Look, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you want coaching from me, make sure that you email me at meccabookings at gmail.com. Or you can just email me for some advice or to simply say hello. And my ladies, I have Yoni Steam Herbs available. If you want to go ahead, align those chakras and move all those negative sexual energies from your womb and your aura. Get in tune with your feminine energy that God is who you are. Make sure you click the link in the description box below and you order your jar of our Yoni Power Yoni Steam Herbs today. Also for my ladies, make sure you grace your waist. Get your wonderful waist beads by yours custom made for me yours truly okay you can just click the link in the description box below for that as well and we also have our protection kits available this is how to use the protection kit in this video i'm showing you how we use our protection kits here from meccafreeman.com here we have black tourmaline crystal selenite we have some palo santo wood sage a black candle and some herbs for a healing herbal tea so I'm just going to take this letter that I wrote. It's basically like a releasing letter. Just release everything from my aura that I don't want in my life anymore. 
want to burn the letter and put it in a jar or a bowl, something you can actually burn it down into ashes. Light your sage so you can cleanse the energy from your space, all negative energies. Then you're going to fill the jar with either sand or dirt. And then place the candle in the middle, just so you can burn the candle and you can burn your Palo Santo wood on top. And imagine all the negative energy flowing from your life. Meditate over it. And that's how you use the protection kit. Order today for $27. And if you are on your journey and you want to start that, that spiritual journey, but you don't know where to start, I highly recommend our 21 day healing plan. Or if you've just gone off path and you're just like, how do I get myself back in alignment with who I really am and get set in the foundations of what life really means, I highly recommend this 21 day healing plan. Just click the link in the description box below. And also, I am offering virtual 20-minute guided meditation. All you do is have your headphones available, sit into a comfortable position. I call you. We do a guided meditation. So make sure you email me or you can head over to my website at MeccaFreeman.com so you can book your appointment today. And as we always say here, you my friend, you go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because you can do whatever you put your mind to. I'm sending my love, my peace, tranquility, good ass vibes, energy, high vibration and frequency and love your way. Until next time, I see you in the next episode with peace and love.